Hi everyone, I just thought I would share this um, journal with you. This is a journal that I made for an auction that was on Instagram and uh, this was a, an auction that some ladies, some other crafty ladies on Instagram, they all made journals and sold um, other items as well I think. Um, for, to help raise some money for the Australian fires, the bushfires. Um, so I decided to join in and make a journal. And um, the charity that I chose was Kangaroo Island. And the reason I chose that was because I felt that, well, I think all the charities did need help, um, obviously. But um, this um, particular charity, they were hoping to build some more shelters and uh, for because obviously some of the animals that had been brought in were going to be there for some time because they hadn't got anywhere to go back to, no food um, sources or anything like that. So um, I decided to go for Kangaroo Island GoFundMe and um, I will try and link the page down below um, because I've been getting some updates from them and uh, it seems like they're doing really well although they've got a lot of they a lot want to raise a lot of money I think they're aiming to raise something like about 15,000 Australian dollars so um, I will link it down below and you know if you're interested in um, making a little donation I'm sure they would be very grateful for that so this was a journal that I auctioned off and a lovely lady on Instagram bought this journal. So by the time this video goes up, um, she will have received the journal. Um, so I thought I would just like to show it to you. Um, this is a, the kit I've used is from TLC Creates Vintage and it's called Bird's Eye View. And I did do a journal, well, I've just made a journal just recently with it, but um, this will be a few weeks before this one actually goes up. So, um, yeah, I've, I've used this journal, um, sorry, this digital kit again. So it measures eight by five and I've made the cover from some really nice upholstery fabric, really thick upholstery fabric. And um, you can't really see it very well, but I have sewn around the edges and I've sort of left the edges a little bit. Um, they're obviously going to fray a little bit. Uh, I've got some seam binding here and I've dyed that with, um, I had a little bit of some bronze tattered angel spray. Whoops, sorry for that. Um, so that's not very noticeable actually. So it's just a one signature journal. Um, so we've got the upholstery fabric, then I put a piece of cardstock underneath and then we've got a page from the kit here. Um, and then we have a doily. And then the first page is uh, printed out onto a cardstock. And uh, I just wanted to say that all my journals, all the ones that are in, that go into my Etsy shop for sale, um, there the images are all printed out onto a high quality photo mat paper so and I've got a really good quality printer as well so all the images are going to be really really nice quality so uh, then we've got a little envelope here uh, this is an envelope that I've cut down it was I think it was one of those window envelopes so I've just put a little freebie label that come from Artie Mays on here. And we've just got a journal card. And this has been obviously tea dyed. I just put a little stamp here. I actually used a few things from an old paper pad that I had from Prima, which was called Almanac. And so that's where this comes from. And the journal card comes from there as well. We've got a little cluster and a bird. And then this is some blue fabric dyed paper that I've been making. Um, I'm hoping to have some more of this for sale in my shop soon. So it came out with a lot of different um, variations of colours. 
This is from the Bird um, Birds Observer book. This is a, a backing page. That's from another kit, but it sort of looks like a grungy tea or coffee dyed paper. And then this is the kit. You get some really nice uh, backing pages with this. A little paper bag. And we've got tea and coffee dyed paper in here. And here I've made um, a pocket and just done a little bit of collaging. And this is also some of the digital kit that's uh, like a background page. I had some images that I found from um, a new free download site that I've come across called Raw Pixel, which I'll link that below. So that's this bird image or ducks they are come from here, from that particular website. And this, this is backed onto index card and it's been inked up. That's inked up with a uh, vintage photo, the Distress Oxide, which I've just recently bought one of those. And I uh, really like the Distress Oxide. It really, it blends really well. Um, we've done a little bit of stenciling. This is with a gold ink pad. I don't know if you can really see that. We've got some tea dyed scrapbook paper. Then we have a little envelope here that's been lined with book paper. And inside these are just some little scraps of paper that I've made into a booklet. Uh, this is a page from the Shell Country book. And that's been washied together. This is another little card from that uh, Prima paper pad. This is like some thick notebook paper. We've got another owl image. Again, this is a free download from Raw Pixel. That's been backed onto tea dyed paper. We made a belly band here with another nice image. Some grid paper. This is sort of like some accounting type paper that I've tea dyed. Uh, we've put a Tracy Fox label there. This is another card. This is actually um, a card from the kit. And this is another card from Raw Pixel with an uh, index card on the back. A bit more stenciling. Some more of the kit pages. I didn't add anything to the page, the kit pages because I thought they were so pretty. And I love this image in the middle of these two little birds. A greater butter button quail. They are. Another kit page. And here I've made a floating pocket. And this is um, more paper from the Shell Country book. And we have a bit of graph paper for some journaling on the back. And then this is another image from Raw Pixel. more stenciling another little side pocket that's just a little card from the paper pad and here I've made um, a fabric tag with some cream card on the back so you can journal on that and then it's just some more little scrap pieces that I've stapled together. It's a pocket, some more collaging here. Um, and this is some vintage notebook paper that April sent me. Thank you, April. And another card from the kit. 
made a little top pocket here which I've sewn around and that's just another little circle that can be glued on anywhere in the book little paper bag um, these are a couple more things that I've cut out from the paper pad that's another card from raw pixel the other side of the blue fabric dye paper and we've got the kit pages and that's the back okay so i hope you liked it and uh thanks for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon bye